everyone! Today's video I'm going to be talking about my skincare routine, but about skin in general. Um, I'm going to uh, talk to you guys a little bit about my journey with my skin, and also about how uh, people view other people's skin on a screen. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit quickly about that because um, I feel that the younger generation, the one that grew up with social media, has this misunderstanding that the people they see on the phone or on Instagram or on Facebook or whatever, Twitter, um, is actually how they look. And I feel like it's the duty of my generation who kind of half grew up with social media or not really grew up but like saw the evolution of social media um, throughout the years. Uh, it's our duty to sort of, you know, debunk those misunderstandings about social media and about appearance and skin and how uh, how beauty is sort of um, viewed and uh, the standards of beauty that exist right now. And so I, I hope in this video I can quickly just shed, shed, shed some light about that. I get asked all the time, how do you have such amazing skin? How is it that you have no pimples? Tell me what your skincare routine is. What do you do for your skin that makes it absolutely flawless? You are so flawless, you look beautiful. And I hear this all the time in my comments, um, private messaging me, emailing me. Um, and I understand that skin is a huge concern for a lot of people. It was for me and it still is. My first reaction is like, thanks. I'm glad you think that my skin is flawless, but let me tell you the truth, it's not. I have makeup on, I edit my photos, I edit my videos, and everyone on social media who is in the beauty industry or is, is, is making videos for a, a large you know, audience is editing, is taking the time to, to, to make those videos look good, is taking the time to make those pictures look good. And there are tools that allow us to do that. Um, so, you know, I think it's important to understand that what you see on a screen isn't how isn't the reality, right? Um, it might be for some people, but for majority of the people, every person struggles with um, issues with their appearance. Not everybody's 100% happy with the way they look, but it's important, I think, to understand that there are that that you're able to manipulate photos on social media, on Instagram, on the internet to make them look beautiful and that that's not the standard for beauty. That you set your own standards for what's attractive, for what's beautiful, that for what makes you feel good. What I'm hoping is that that standard is you looking in the mirror and being happy with the way you look, being comfortable in your own skin. And that takes a lot of courage. It took me a lot of courage. I, in high school, in middle school even, in high school, even in university, I struggled with my skin and I continue to struggle with my skin. Um, and I won't lie, I wear makeup to cover up some of the blemishes, to cover up the uneven skin tone. And it's, I don't have perfect skin. So for anybody watching who had this misunderstanding that I have beautiful skin, I really don't. And I'm proud of it because it's, it's part of who I am. But anyway, so I'm going to quickly run you through my journey with my skin. I actually suffer from acne. Not so severe, but I do have hormonal breakouts. Sometimes when I'm not watching what I eat, I'm having a lot of sugar or a lot of coffee um, or a lot of starchy food, I will notice that my skin will break out a lot more. Um, where I get my breakouts is on my chin and right here in this area. There are ways to manage uh, the skin and so I never knew that when I was in middle school and high school. You don't really pay attention to these things. You're just like, okay, I'm just gonna wear makeup and like cover it up and just move on, right? Like you have other things to worry about like school and studying and whatever. So I never really cared much about that, but I have to be honest, it did affect my self-esteem. It did affect my confidence. So when I would have a conversation with someone, I would constantly like look away or or like look down or not not face them, talk to them eye to eye, right? Because I always felt that they would be looking at my pimple or my flaw. So I would avoid conversations. I would avoid like going out and I, I kind of just wanted to stay home and it, it helped because I was like studying and doing well in school. But I mean, my social life was uh, affected because of the fact that I felt like I wasn't beautiful or I felt like, you know, my acne was so bad that everyone was gonna notice. Even though the reality is, people probably don't really notice or don't even care. So they're not really paying attention to that, but you know, it was something I struggled with. 
And so I reached a point where um, I was just like, okay, enough is enough. Like, nothing I'm doing is working. I was just agitating it. I would always pick at, pick at the pimples and it was just um, spreading it around. It was a mess. So the moment I got engaged, um, Yusuf and I started going to uh, facials. He came once or twice. He's gonna get mad at me for saying this, but anyways. Um, but I made it regular for myself to, to, to go consistently and, um, you know, get extract whatever it is inside out and it helped but it it wasn't um long term I, I still needed something that i could do on a regular basis so i went and i tried the clarisonic brush right the clarisonic brush with like vici i don't even know if i'm pronouncing that right but i used the vici line um or vici and uh they they have great products it's just um there were chemicals in it that were agitating my skin. In reality, the Clarisonic brush, in my opinion, could work, but it really does move things around. So I was noticing that like my, I would heal one part and then another part would like flare up. So uh, basically what I ended up doing was I gave up on the Clarisonic brush and I just started washing my face with uh, soap. <laughs> That's literally what I was just like, you know what, screw this stuff, It's nothing's working. I'm just gonna wash my face with soap and what happened was soap helped a little I have to I have to be honest but what it was doing was drying the heck out of my skin like no tomorrow it was just drying it like crazy my skin would itch and like flake and my makeup would look like trash so I was just like okay I really need to talk to somebody like somebody who isn't gonna like just prescribe me Accutane right and it wasn't that severe for Accutane so I cross paths with somebody who cares about skin like I, I've never met anybody who is so passionate about skincare like this person. Her name is Salima and she is a uh, skincare specialist. She knows everything you need to know about skin and she breaks it down to you when, when you talk to her and, and you have a consultation with her. Um, she, she makes it seem so easy to understand your skin and I think that's really what I need it is a little bit of education and so it really did give me a sense of um, comfort knowing that I was speaking to somebody who understands and is is interested more in educating me than in selling me a product right so like I met with her and we spoke about skin and, and what I appreciated the most was um, you know apart from her sort of not pushing the product down my throat but more like trying to hear me out like hearing my story giving me a sense of comfort making me feel like she actually cares instead of like as if she was my sister as opposed to her being a salesperson or like a ceo of a company right so that's something i really really did appreciate throughout my journey with my skin i've come across people who didn't care about me personally like my me as an individual they cared more about their product and how to sell it and she was different she she prioritized you as an individual she made you feel like you were a person. We met a few times, whatever. I tried her products, she gave me samples, and I felt that my skin wasn't getting worse or wasn't, wasn't getting bad. Remember, the Clarisonic was moving things around. You know, th the soap was drying my skin. This stuff was like managing my symptoms. Like it was, because acne is a condition, right? You can't, like I said, you can't have a magic cream that's just gonna solve your problem. It's not gonna happen. Makeup only covers it. And if some, if you use something like a spot treatment or some, something that you put on your face that magically works, you'll notice it's gonna come back, right? What I noticed with Salima's products is that my skin hasn't gone worse over time. And I've never had that with any product that I've tried. So I tried her products out and I, after finishing my sample, which was which lasted me, I think about a month, I was hooked. I used the cleanser and toner, and I'll show you guys exactly how to use them. And so, yeah, I mean, I've been using them for a year now, and you guys know from from Instagram, I've posted a few posts here and there for for the products, Be, and because I actually believe in the product, and I don't do other skincare products. Like I'll do a mask here and there, or whatever. Um, to promote but but this stuff is actually stuff that I love using every single day It's my bottles are done and I have to go purchase more so like it's I Absolutely love her stuff. It's worked for me and I really do hope you give it a chance But before you do make sure you email the company 
and Salima will get back to you personally to give you a personalized consultation. Okay, so let's go and see how I use the cleanser, the toner, and the moisturizer. We'll be right back. Okay, so as a morning routine, I use the cleanser, the toner, and the moisturizer, and I do the same thing in the evening. So for this morning routine, I firstly started off by wetting my face with warm water in order to open up my pores and then I went in a little bit with the cleanser as you saw. Now I'm just going to lather the product into my face because my face is already wet. It'll make this process easier. Um, I like to make sure that every single part of my face is covered in the cleanser and that I have rotated um, and la lathered the product into the skin and massaged it into it really well. Um, you don't have to go harsh on this because the product itself is act has active ingredients so you don't have to do much beyond what I'm doing in this video right now. And uh, you have to keep in mind that using, like I said, any uh, brushes or any other tools that will help um, speed up the process of lathering it or of like spreading it around will only agitate your skin so I, I, I recommend you avoid doing that altogether. Um, as you're seeing here, I'm just washing my face. I'm washing it with uh, cold water in order to close up my pores. Um, and then I go in with the um, Glow Toner by Salima, which is an amazing product because it, uh, it closes your pores and it also um, minimizes the appearance of redness in your face. So I like to in the morning massage my skin the way that you're seeing me do now by just like tapping it with my fingers. Um, which gets the blood flowing and will put the product will spread the product evenly. You can use it with a gauze or with a cotton pad, but I like to use my hands, which is what you saw me do earlier. Now I'm just going to take one pump of the oil control moisturizer, which is perfect for my skin because I have oily skin, and just dab that on my face. I don't spread it, I don't sm smudge it, I don't, you know, go too harsh on my skin I just very gently dab it on which will do the trick and will work perfectly okay guys so I really hope you enjoyed that quick sort of tutorial of how I use um, the cleanser the toner and the moisturizer by Salima if you're interested in purchasing the products yourself make sure you email Salima first tell her a little bit about your skin tell her a little bit of what you're struggling with because the products are so good and they're medical grade they're not stuff you pick up off the shelf they are a little bit expensive so I got you guys 20% off which is the code right here um, once you go on the website you can enter the code on the products and you get that discount off your total when you check out I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it beneficial um, feel free to ask me any questions about skin or, or if you have a journey similar to mine that you'd like to talk to me about I hope I can help anyways so uh, I guess I'll see you guys in my next video bye